welcome to your April love forecast. This is your April love forecast for all Libra suns, moons, risings, and those on the cusp. Um, for your reading today, I will be using the Charmin Casali Tarot deck. Um, we'll be clarifying court cards with the Vera Sibilla Italiana. And I will be pulling a message from the Rumi Oracle at the end of your reading. Um, we do have three planets in retrograde. I think still uh, Mercury, if it hasn't gone retrograde, is going retrograde very soon. Let me check my Mercury and Saturn. I know that uh, Venus is retrograde until the 15th. So, um, and then Saturn and Mercury. I know Saturn already went retrograde. So it's a real, um, gonna be a real fun month. And then also we have a full moon in your sign on the 11th, Libra. So in just one day, I think. All right, so I hope you guys are ready for your love forecast. Let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, what are the energies and messages that you have for the sign of Libra for the month of April 2017 regarding their love lives? This is for all Libra suns, moons, risings, and those on the cusp that may be watching. <clears throat> what do they need to know regarding their love reading, their love forecast? Okay, at the bottom of the deck we have the Nine of Cups. Very nice. Beautiful card. It often reminds me of a wedding. Um, <clears throat> some of you may be getting married this month or celebrating an anniversary. I see parties and celebrations. You know the Nine of Cups represents food, wine, and friends. It is a lot of pleasure seeking activities. It's a very good card for emotions. Some of you are uh, enjoying spending time um, with a loved one, with a significant other, or if you're single, you're getting out there and mingling like crazy. Let's take a look. Hangman in reverse crossed by the Ace of Pentacles. We got a new opportunity on the way. The King of Cups is in reverse. What comes below you? What comes above you? We have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. In the recent past, you have the Eight of Cups in reverse. In the near future, you have the Two of Pentacles in reverse. How you see yourself, you have the Seven of Pentacles. In your environment, this is how your significant other or the person you think about the most may be viewing you or dealing with you. They have the Page of Swords. Your hopes and fears are the world. And your outcome for the month of April is the Three of Wands. All right, Libra. So you walk into the month of April with the Hangman in reverse. This is one of, uh, let's see, two major arcana in your reading. The rest are, I'm seeing a lot of pentacles, mostly pentacles, then cups, then swords, then wands. So most of you will be dealing with the um, mundane world, so like physical security, material security this month. So you walk into the month of April with the hangman in reverse. I see some of you overthinking something, okay? Thinking really hard about some situation in your life. It's like 
instead of changing what you're doing, you're instead trying to make the situation fit you. What I mean by that is, for example, say someone is, um, say someone is, is not doing what you want them to in terms of their behavior. This could be anything from a uh, person that you like isn't calling you or your, your spouse is, um, you know, is, is doing something that, that really bothers you. But instead of like, you know, communicating it to them or instead of, um, you know, changing how you're approaching the situation, this is basically saying that you'd rather um, have them change in order to fit the situation. So it, it's, it's kind of like you're stuck in your head a little bit. You're like overthinking something here. And the hangman in reverse, like the, the actual meaning of this card to me is someone who's a charlatan. A charlatan is someone who um, has very high expectations for for other people. Like they may, for example, they may go around kind of preaching, you know, their gospel or whatever, you know. But in reality, what happens is that they, they're a little bit of a hypocrite. So they, um, they come off as like morally righteous or like they're too good for you or they're just, their behavior is a little bit like they have their nose in the air. Now the other interpretation that I see is like, of course, overthinking something where you're just kind of stuck in your head a lot of the time. But as you can see with his posture, the hands are behind the back. It's almost like he's hiding something with his hands behind the back, behind his back, and um, you know, it looks like he's kind of comfortable like this, and just waiting for the situation to suit, change to suit him. So instead of hanging out here, he's going to just wait like an even longer time. So maybe you are waiting on someone. Uh, to do something or to to come forward with something and you're just going to wait until the cows come home. Your challenge is the Ace of Pentacles. This could be a new opportunity in love, uh, a new beginning in your love life. This could be a job promotion or even um, an inheritance or some money coming in. The Ace of Pentacles is extremely positive. Um, it is crossing you in the reverse position. So um, it's possible that you stand to lose some money here or almost like seeing a bounce check or a, a, a missed opportunity. So I almost feel like these cards do kind of, they do kind of form a story to me. It's almost like while you're waiting here thinking about things, your challenge is not to let a, a very important opportunity pass you by. Or a new beginning or an opportunity that needs to be seized or grasped. This could be also it's hard to say, but like, you know, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse to me is like some kind of rejection. So it's possible that you guys are thinking about um, a rejection that happened or rejecting someone or rejecting um, an offer. And you've been on the fence about it for quite a long time. When I look closer, it's more likely that that's the case because you have the Knight of, I'm um, sorry, the King of Cups in reverse. Could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or any other sign. But in general, when I see the King of Cups in reverse, um, this is someone that has very negative emotions or they're emotionally unavailable. Okay, so this is why you have, this is what has put you here. It could be another person in your life or could represent your own feelings at this time. The King of Pentacles is, is, is really un, not interested. He's, 
Um, he's not letting his emotions flow. And so that's why I say he's emotionally unavailable or he has he's harboring intense negative emotions. Spirit-wise, the King of Cups in reverse for Libra. What does the King of Cups in reverse represent for Libra? Well, we have the Vidovo, the Widower. This is a lonely and sad man bound to his past. So it could be someone that recently lost their spouse or even someone that is going through a divorce or recently divorced. These cards also came out. Melancholia, which is depression, melancholy, or sadness. We have the amore, love or passion that arises or flourishes again. We also have the Belvedere. This is farsightedness or great ambition. And we have the Disgrazia, which is a very serious and destructive event, something very mis well, kind of unfortunate happening in the future here for this person. But I do see in the present that uh, most likely the reason why they're coming up reversed is because they have um, recently been widowed, they're currently depressed, and I see the um, I see Cupid coming in here in the future, so there is the possibility for um, love in the future and also something kind of destructive happening or explosive happening with that. I see them kind of keeping an eye out for some kind of a tower situation here. In your recent past, you have the Eight of Cups in reverse, which tells me that you might have wanted to leave a situation behind, but because of your emotional attachments to it, you really couldn't walk away, even though you may have wanted to. Because I see someone returning back to a lover or going back to someone here or returning from a sort of a, a, a soul journey. So in this situation, it could be that an affair was, um, someone might have left uh, someone behind, but then it will come back at a later date. Almost always they come back after the Eight of Cups is in reverse. Your thoughts and feelings are the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. You guys may think, well, this to me is primarily a card about financial security. So some of you are worried about losing your family, your financial security, your legacy, um, everything that sort of symbolizes security to, to you. Um, you may be thinking a lot about family issues this month or a feeling very estranged from a loved one or possibly um, having ended, have thinking about ending a long-term relationship. That makes a lot of sense. In the near future, you have the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, someone is dropping the ball here. It's just too much. It's The issues in the relationship or the issues if you're single are just getting flooded and I'm seeing trouble balancing. There's a lack of balance here and even it's possible that um, one or both of you, if you're in a committed relationship or you're married, it's possible that um, someone is going to leave or is going to mismanage their situation. For example, the job, the home life, the bills, all of that, the children. I'm seeing trouble balancing all of that and it's like it just becomes too overwhelming. How you see yourself, you have the Seven of Pentacles. This is a time in the middle of the month for you to pause and take stock of how far you guys have been, how far you have come, what more work needs to be done. In the Thoth Tarot, the Seven of Pentacles, uh, 
symbolizes some kind of failure, but um, in this deck, I feel like it's more optimistic. Here we have on the left side a field of corn, and on the right side, all of this opportunity. And this is almost like a seed, you know? And here I see the seed again, and it's like, what do I do with this one seed? You have an opportunity here to plant this seed, but in order to do that, you kind of have to weigh the pros and cons of your current situation. You know, does it make sense for you to do that now? Um, the rabbit here is an interesting symbol as well. It symbolizes fertility. So it seems like you have a potential opportunity here to make use of some money, some resources, some of your financial security to start something new. But of course it would be up to you to do that. It seems like some of you could be losing money this month or dealing with a lot of financial stuff. I'm not going to lie because I don't see a lot of cups in your reading. The only cups are in your past here and it was about trying to leave something behind but being drawn back into it. In your environment, you have the Page of Swords. You may be dealing with another air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. How they're going to be viewing you or dealing with you. I feel like they have their back to you and they're like very on guard. They're very guarded. They have their sword raised. It could also just be that they're dealing with a lot of communications at this time. They're very curious about you. I think they would be curious about you, but um, there may also be communication going back and forth, but you're taking a wait and see approach, whereas they're also just being curious. Um, I don't see any malicious words or gossip or anything like that. I just see communication, but again, I feel very much that they're concerned with something not regarding you, but something that I can't see. So because they're facing off the spread. So let's take a look at the Page of Swords. Why is the Page of Swords in Libra's environment? Why is the Page? And also this can represent a, a younger person. It doesn't have to be an adult. It can be a child, teenager even. They're very youthful. And they're interested in pursuing the truth. Truth seeker. Could be a writer as well, someone who's a, you know, a student, an intellectual. Certainly see that. Why is the Page of Swords in Libra's environment, Spirit? Why is the Page of Swords in Libra's environment? We have the enemy in the past. This is the woman who acts secretly in the Page of Swords in their past. Well, of course, this is clarifying their behavior, and so I do see a woman who acts in secret here. We have the married woman. This is a respect or attraction toward the mother of a family. I feel this is the same person, the enemy and the married woman, but I could be wrong. In the future, they have Fortuna, a positive or unexpected event or turn of fate. So this person could be communicating with the married woman. I do see an enemy in their miss. And I do see some kind of um, fortunate event happening in their future. The wheel of fate is turning. Now, it, it is a positive event, it's saying. But of course, if this is like the wheel of fortune, it could really be anything. You know. The hopes and fears. We have your hopes and fears. We have the world. You definitely want to wrap something up here. Um, this could be also a major life event coming to an end. This is a huge victory as well. 
also the sign of Capricorn represented by the world. You want it all, Libra. You want it all wrapped up in a nice, neat package and given to you. You want your freedom. You want success. You want um, all of these nasty loose ends to be tied up and for you to just be done and over it. I think you are over whatever this is. You're just kind of stuck in this. You're stuck in your head a lot of the time, but I also feel like um, either you're depressed or someone around you is depressed or I'm seeing someone here who is recently widowed or a lonely and sad man bound to his past. I'm seeing family issues, financial issues on your thoughts. And I also feel like there might have been a rejection or there's, your challenge is the Ace of Pentacles, but it's in reverse. So I feel like, you know, my, I just heard money is the root of all evil. And I feel very much that finances this month are kind of controlling you a lot. Um, your outcome is the Three of Wands. I think you're waiting for some ship to come in here. Hopefully this is you making long-term plans or having a long-term vision. But I also feel like you're kind of waiting. Because this says you've sent your energies out into the world. And you have reason to be optimistic, but you may be waiting for news to arrive. It's possible also that in terms of love, you are looking for more or you are waiting for something better to come along. One thing's for certain, the Three of Wands is all about growth. And because you have the world in your reading, I really feel like you are growing a lot. You're learning a lot. You're going through possibly a painful process of expansion in your life, of change. In terms of signs here, we have Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Pisces again, a lot of Earth energy, and we also have the, your air sign energy here, uh, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. And Capricorn. Spirit, what does Libra need to know? Please help guide them on their high spiritual path in love and in light. This is for all my Libra suns, moons, risings, and those on the cusp that may be watching. Please help guide them forward in love. Take the card off the top. Oh, very nice. Blessing of Zara. Blessing of Zara. That is card 39. Now this did come up quite a bit in the recent past. It came up a lot last month. I don't remember which card you guys received last month, but it could have been this one. It's a very popular card, and I mean, I, I, I draw it quite often, actually. What I mean by popular is that it comes up a lot, or it's been coming up a lot. But it came up more last month, um, not as much this month. You might be the only sign that received it this month. In fact, I think you are. Let go of thought. Don't take it into your heart. You are naked and thought is like ice. You use thought to seek release from suffering and pain. While well, thought is the cause of your suffering and pain. The realm of creation is outside the scope of thought. O oh, foolish one, see the opus and behold the beauty. Look in the direction from which the images flow. See the brook that causes the wheel to turn. I wish to pull that 
false confection from your mouth. Oh, I know you will open your mouth even wider to scream, like the terrible cry of a toddler denied. But the moment you open your mouth wide and draw breath to bemoan the outrageous travesty of your loss, I shall shove my divine finger dripping with nectar into your gaping mouth. I'll let you suckle then, surprised and contented by the sweetness that surpasses all other sweets. When we are hungry, we reach for what food is available. If we are starving, we may gorge upon what is before us only to find ourselves overfed, undernourished, and in a most uncomfortable and dissatisfied state. Your soul needs better quality food. It has been detoxing. You have been shedding old thoughts, feelings, pains, and struggles. Memories of the past have been flooding out of your soul like parasites being expunged. And now your soul thus cleansed is in need of genuine nourishment to restore it to full radiance and vitality. Love will feed your hungry soul. Nothing less shall suffice. No sweet talking charmer, hell bent on seducing and moving on, will make the grade. No, it has to be nothing less than genuine romancing by the great beloved to feed comfort, and nurse you into radiance. Only that divine finger dipped in the heavenly honey can be taken in by your soul now. All else will seem as empty junk by comparison. But can we summon the strength to overcome habitual and mindless attempts at feeding on lesser substances? Oh yes, the great beloved shall storm through the kitchen and with military precision Clear out the cupboards, for only the best and finest, most decadent and delicious, shall do for you. This oracle comes with special guidance for you, Libra. You are being given a blessing of Zara, of radiance, of brightness. This blessing has a purpose. It is to clear out that which would obstruct your full unfoldment to support the divine jewel of your soul in shining. You are being given an opportunity supported by life, by the earth, by the grace of the divine beloved to shed toxins from your being. These may be physical and they may equally be of emotional, psychic or psychological origin. They may come from this or another lifetime. You may understand consciously what is being released or you may not. If you are sensitive, you may feel symptoms of detoxification at a physical level, even if what you are releasing is emotional or psychological in nature. You are encouraged to complete the sacred honoring ritual, to stay adequately hydrated, and to be moderate rather than excessive in your approach. Give your body and mind time to rest and replenish so that blessing can be fully received. If you have been unwell or struggling to let go of an issue, this oracle comes as a portent of imminent healing back to good health and of release of the issue into resolution and divine radiance. It is only a matter of timing and that timing is imminent. This oracle also brings you the message that if something appears to be leaving your life, even something painful to release, it is because it is no longer healthy for you or no longer supporting of life for you. There is something more loving and beautiful awaiting. Do not try to feast upon scraps. Stop scraping in the dirt for stale breadcrumbs. Rise up and move towards the seat at the heavenly table gleaming before you for a greater fe feast awaits your attendance. Sacred Honoring Ritual Say aloud, I call upon Alzara, the, the merciful Divine One, shining with grace, and Rumi, who loves me without condition. I call upon the healing angels, and I say the following declaration. With grace I accept the shedding of that which is no longer worthy of me. I allow myself to release, with merciful grace, what no longer feeds my soul, with the truest of nourishment. I open to receive 
through unconditional love, healing, support, intervention, and protection, that I may shine with the divine radiance bestowed upon me in this blessing. I surrender my attachment to scraps and to open my mind, body, and soul to the great feast. In profound gratitude, I bow to the compassion that leads me to the banquet of love now. So be it. Lie down and rest for however long you need. Healing will happen. During this time, so try to rest for at least 5 to 25 minutes, more if possible. Following your rest, you may also like to have a shower or bath using a handful of regular salt as a gentle body scrub to support your psychic and physical cleansing process. Enjoy this as an act of self-love. You have finished your sacred honoring. Where there's so many synchronicities, when I read the oracle message aloud, I hear words that remind me of the cards that I'm seeing, and not only that, the messages go much deeper, um, which is why I like to read the oracle at the end. But I feel like there's a banquet waiting for you. But in order to receive what the divine has in uh, store for you, um, you are being required to grieve the loss of something that is no longer, no longer working for you, no longer giving you what you need. It's it's breadcrumbs, right? It isn't really sustaining you. I feel that you are challenged to make the sacrifice to let go. But I feel that also when you do let go, there's going to be another door that opens. You probably feel that there's so much at stake for you right now that it's scary. But I very much feel that this is the divine. I'm channeling the divine through these messages. And they're saying that it's okay to let go. You know, it's okay to walk away. When you do that, you're going to be growing on your journey. You're going to be opening yourself up to something better. Something more worthy of your love. So stop feasting on scraps and take a seat at this beautiful table here. There is someone or something greater waiting for you ahead. You just can't see it right now. If any of you would like to book a private reading with me, to get more clarification on your personal, what you're going through right now personally, whether or not you resonate with this reading, I would love to do a reading for you. You can reach me at my website. It's posted below in the description. As always, thank you so much, Libra. I promise to read for you guys first, among the first three next month. And I really appreciate you sticking around and your patience. Love you guys and many blessings. Take care.